Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this tricky infographic design. Let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then format the background with radial gradient. Change the direction and make it a two-step gradient. Change stop colors to light gray and white color. It is important to remember these stop colors because we are again going to use them when we do tricks with our design. Next go to insert tab and draw circle at the center of slide holding down control and shift keys. Make it no outline and increase its transparency to see through. Duplicate this circle using Ctrl plus D and align it with the original circle. Now reduce its size holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Select both the circles and drag them holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create duplicates. Create 6 more duplicates by dragging them on either side. For each of the duplicate set, make sure the bigger circles are touching with smaller circles. Now go to insert tab and draw rectangle shape to cover lower half portions of all the circles. Starting from second set of circles, select every alternate big circle and then fragment them with rectangle shape. Delete the fragmented section of rectangle shape. Select lower fragmented sections of each big circles and change their fill color. Send these lower fragmented portions to back. Also change the color of upper portion of these fragmented circles and bring them to front. Now select the unfragmented big circles and reduce their transparency. Format these circles with linear gradient, change its direction and adjust the gradient stops has shown. Next change the gradient direction of every alternate big circle and make sure their gradient patterns are opposite to each other. Now these are the important steps. Select the upper portion of first fragmented circle and because it touches the white gradient colors of circles on either side, we will change its fill color to white. Similarly select the upper portion of next fragmented circles and change their fill colors to light gray and white colors. Make sure to remove their transparencies. Now for each of the unfragmented circles, apply shadow effects as shown. Set blur value to 8 points and transparency to 50%. One thing to remember is, we must not apply shadow effect to upper sections of fragmented circles. Instead, we will create artificial shadow effects for them. Let's duplicate the upper portion of first fragmented circle and change its fill color to dark gray. Change its soft edges value until you get desired shadow effect. Increase the size of this shadow shape and place it behind each of the upper section of fragmented circles.
Make sure each upper fragmented section and its shadow shape are on top of unfragmented circles on either side. Now select all the small circles and remove their transparency. Select all lower sections of each fragmented circles and format them with linear gradient with same stop colors. Also apply shadow effect with same blur and transparency values. Next select all small circles and format them with same linear gradient pattern and same shadow effect. Let's select all shadow shapes at the back end of fragmented circles and slightly increase their size. This will give bit realistic effect to our design pattern. Now duplicate this shadow shape using Ctrl plus D and place it at the back end of lower section of each unfragmented circles. That looks perfect. Let's quickly change the gradient stop colors of each small circle. Add text fields and PNG icons to finalize our design. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.